Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be having a look at White Dwarf, issue 494. This is the November 2023 issue, and this month has gone by so quick, but here it is, White Dwarf. We've got a nice Space Marine on the front there, and something they've changed since the last White Dwarf is the pullouts, so they're not attached inside the magazine anymore. They're going to actually be loose, so I think that's a lot better. And John, if you're watching, I remember your comment on issue 493 about this. So it looks like they heard you because they put it now as separate pullouts, which is much better. It does read a lot easier as we flick through it. But let's turn over to the back page. We're going to see more Space Marines, the Ultramarines there. And then we get all the contents laid out on the back. And since they changed this, they've just divided it into four sections, really. Bunker, 40k, Age of Sigmar, and then some other stuff at the end. So we're going to go through the whole magazine, flip through, and hopefully this will help you decide whether or not you'd like to add it to your collection this month. So let's go. So here we see on the left, this is all the information about subscribing. And this is part of the subscription, the issue I get where you get a different cover and save a good amount of money too. And then here we get the back cover repeated and a few photos to get us going. And then we're on to the contact section where people send in letters, question and miniatures, some of their painted miniatures. Always nice to see some different things people are up to. We're so used to seeing it on Instagram and Facebook, but when you see it in print, there's something different about that. I really like it. So it's cool to see what they choose out. I just wonder how many people actually send photos in these days. Next, we've got the White Dwarf Bunker, and this is going to give you lots to do for the hobby, all centred around the community and this thing of building the biggest community. It's got to be the biggest, isn't it, with Games Workshop, but uh, bigger isn't always better. So here we're going to see bunker challenges, leagues and campaigns, scenarios of the month, hobby hangout, basic training, satellite uplink. So lots going on in here. And if you're into kind of building a community in your local area, then this might be a good place to start to get you some ideas. Certainly for like painting and things like that, that's pretty good. It gets you going with some different challenges. And also each month you're going to get a scenario for 40k and Age of Sigma. So you could actually play that in your local club if you wanted to. Wait till you see the next page. I don't know if you'll be expecting this. It's Cursed City, the last days of Haven. So there we are, more Cursed City content. If you're into that, if you manage to get hold of a box in the end, then you might enjoy this extra article. Then we're on to page 26, and we've got some basic training, just looking at 40K there, and how you can just use different units and some tactics to learn. And then Hobby Hangout next. We're gonna look at Tome Keepers and they join the battle against High Fleet Leviathan. Really nice picture here. This is what White Dwarf's all about for me, these fantastic photos. Great for reference and inspiration. And I built my Imperial Fists army because of an article in White Dwarf. I saw it and I thought, you know what, that'd be excellent. And so I did it and I'm uh, really happy with it. So that's what I like about White Dwarf. You get some great ideas. And really cool to see the armies put together. And also some centerpieces like here, how they put like different ways to paint it. Perhaps some ideas you wouldn't do, you know, coming away from the box art is always nice. Then you've got a nice double spread army picture. I kind of recognise this. This one looks very familiar, but surely it's not repeated from another issue. I'm not sure. Anyway, we've got Raptors next. And Raptors, really interesting chapter. So this is a good article to have a read through and just catch up on things like heraldry, iconography, recruitment, and then the camouflage and just their general tactics, I suppose. So yeah, that's really good. I like that article a lot. I like Raptors. I think they're really interesting. And then you're also going to get some crusade rules for them, which is nice as well. So that's going to build into their law and everything. So that's a cool section. If you play 40k, I personally don't play it anymore. So there we go. I'm not really interested in that. But they've got a battle report, which is still nice to read through if you want to keep up to date. But this section, I love this, how they've put the armies laid out. They did it in the previous issue too. And I think this is really cool. I love seeing all the different units clearly laid out, all the points, values, nice crisp pictures. Yeah, I like this a lot. I hope they keep doing that. And if you wanted to paint an army in this style, look at that reference. You just got everything you need there. Brilliant. But anyway, let's get back to the battle report. So this is going to take you through the different rounds, decisions that each player's made, why they've done certain things, and then it keeps a score each round as you work through. So these battle reports, if you've never bought White Dwarf magazine before, these battle reports are really good, and I think they're probably my favourite part of the magazines, to be fair. You get some great photos, you get to see the battlefield from different angles, awesome uh, inspiration again for building armies and models. 
and just all round really good articles, really well done. And I think this is something they've been doing obviously since it started. So they certainly weighed it off and yeah, brilliant. Really good, can highly recommend that. Then we've got brush tips. So here you're looking at the Corsair and a nice paint scheme there. And these articles are getting really good. I mean, you've got a breakdown of all the paints you need, photos from different angles, close up again, really good reference and thoughts from the painters from the heavy metal team. Really good article. So with the battle reports and this, you've got some really good information there. Right, now let's go on to the Warhammer Age of Sigmar section. Felt like there was quite a lot of 40K, but I guess we're about halfway. And now we're gonna be looking at Cross the Water, a new battle pack aimed at small scale battles set amidst the growing uh, conflict, conflict on the Slide Crown Isle. That was a mouthful, but here we are. This is gonna give you different ways to play. Really fun, so that's nice. Age of Sigma, I haven't played for a little while actually. I need to get another game in because I really enjoy it. And then we've got t uh, Taylor Four Warlords. It's gonna take you through their armies there. Another nice reference, good to see. Different terrain as well incorporated into it. Nice shots, really good photography. Oh, these look awesome. I'm surprised I haven't got any of those yet. The Fellwater Trogoths, awesome models. Then we've got Endless Battle. Let no two battles ever be the same again with this battle pack generator for Age of Sigma. And you'll see this in the pullouts later. You've got the map tables and then you've got the scenario table, twist and ruse, and you mix it all up and you should come up with lots of different battles that you can play out. Then a little bit of reading there before we go on to anatomy of a Dawnbringer crusade and this is going to tell you all about that so that's nice it's kind of fun seeing these posters i really like that they do a lot of this now especially with cities of sigma since they come out then on to Warcry, nether maze bladeborn here you're going to get bladeborn rules for using four of the nether maze warbands in Warcry. So this is brilliant there you go you've got skitter shanks claw pack so you get the fighter cards and abilities all included there on the page. You've got the Shadeborn and you've got Gore Chosen of Drom and Hexbane's Hunters. So it's really nice that they're continuing to bring out these rules for Warcry, I love that. Then we're on to Legion's Imperialis. I don't know about this, I haven't got any interest in it to be fair. It looked fun, it reminds me a lot of Micro Machines when I was a kid, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I think I just don't want to invest in any more systems by Games Workshop at the moment. Um, yeah, I've covered that in another video. I'm not going to go on about it here. But there we are. And then we've got Necromunda, the Aranthian Succession. Another cool poster. Seems to be something they're doing a lot of now. And then there's this really nice showcase of the Dustblind Divas by Rob Crouchley. And that looks great. Good to see vehicles incorporated. Some mounts there as well. And yeah, really nice. Bit more reading. The Instigator by... I'm not saying that name, I can't remember how to pronounce it properly, but thanks for everyone who pointed it out last time. And then we've got Inside the Studio, great pictures of those awesome tanks. And this is a nice little section as well, giving you some ideas about what weapons to use and where and when. And then Legion's Imperialis again at the back. And that is going to take us to the end of the magazine. And that is White Dwarf, issue 494 for November 2023. But we're not done yet. We've got to look at these pullouts. So really good that it's separate to the magazine. Much better. And here you can see those cards that we saw uh, as part of the Age of Sigma section. So you're going to take those out, randomly select them. I love this. Great idea. And then another one here. Not sure about this dial. That's something I would never put together or use. But the scenario cards are really great with the different twists on there as well. So that's really nice. So Age of Sigmar, I think that's a really good uh, pull out to include. Really nice. Here's a code if you want to grab it first. It's all yours. You can get Commissar Yarrick for Warhammer 40,000 Tacticus. Help yourself to that. There we go. You can download it now as well. Maybe you want to have a look at that. I don't know nothing about that. And then here we've got the two different missions, one mission and one battle plan. One for 40k, battle plan for Age of Sigma. So this is the same as what was in the magazine, but handy pull out. And if you collect all those, I think it's really nice. They do one each month, so it's really nice collection forming. And then you get this Realms of Ruin poster. Yeah, I'll pull the camera out a little bit so you can have a proper look at it. And this is going to be a double-sided. You get Dank Fear, Cruel Boss, Cruel, oh, for goodness sake, Oh, for goodness sake, I can't say it. Dank fear, cruel boys, killer boss. They go, nailed it. And then on the other side, Iden the Knight Vexilor. Okay, there we go. So that's all the pullouts. We've seen the magazine. And now hopefully this has given you uh, everything you need to know to decide whether or not you'd like to add it to the collection this month. 
A big thank you to my sponsors and supporters for helping me to keep going with these daily videos. And if you'd like to get your White Dwarf magazine, check out my friendly local store, The Little Shop DVD and Games. And a big thanks to everyone else who supported the channel. And if you're interested in some Viking zombie action, check out Gates of Nilheim by Raybox Games. I've been covering it a fair bit this week on the channel as their Game Found campaign has just gone live yesterday and they're doing so well already. So it's awesome to see. They deserve it so much and it's brilliant to see all the perks getting ticked off as it grows so yeah doing really well still time to have a look at that i'll put a link in the description down below It'd be great if you check it out and then also moonstone we've got another unboxing and more painting to do this week so look out for that coming very soon but tomorrow i'm going to be working on warlord games bolt action i've got case blue another campaign book and if you haven't seen the previous video i did for one of the other campaign books then i think you should check it out because it's really good their campaign books are excellent there you go then, that's White Dwarf 494 Thanks so much for watching the video, hope you enjoyed it, hope you found it helpful, and thanks again for all your support for watching the videos, clicking on the links, liking and subscribing, it really does help. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this one, and I look forward to seeing you here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for helping me to keep going with these regular videos. I couldn't do this without you, and I appreciate your support so much. If you'd like to join the Patreon community, support the channel, get some great perks at the same time, there's a link down below in the description. It'll be awesome to see you there.